This coming Tuesday, the organization tasked with ensuring the global economy remains stable amid a hotbed of threats gives its spring report, the outlook for 2017 and beyond. And, and this report often moves markets, but in a Fox Business exclusive, I had the opportunity just one hour ago to sit down here in D.C. with IMF Managing Director Christine Lagarde, who will present that report. And I began by asking what matters to a lot of us, and that's tax reform. Would you really hope to see Washington get its act together, rewrite the tax code sooner rather than later? A simplification, uh, certainly um, a lower corporate rate uh, relative to other countries, provided that it's accompanied with simplification by elimination of some of the loopholes, some of the exemptions uh, that are, are making it far more complicated and difficult to, uh, to manage. You just talked about rates. I'm going to talk about a different kind of rate, mm -hmm. interest rates. Mm -hmm. Federal Reserve is supposedly on track in the United States to raise rates three times this year. We've already raised once. Uh, would that help or hurt the economy if we go for three rate hikes, the global economy? The signal would indicate that the U.S. economy is doing well mm -hmm. and is doing better. So that uh, fact in and of itself is positive, of course, for the U.S. Uh, uh, jobs for the U.S. income, for uh, U.S. investments. But it also means that it has impacts on the rest of the world. It may have a um, negative impact outside the United States because clearly it will um, lead to a strengthening of the currency. So the U.S. dollar will be stronger. Mm -hmm. Capital flows that are currently located in other markets, in other countries, might flow back to the United States, and that could really impact negatively some of the emerging market economies, some of the developing countries as well, because both sovereigns and corporates in those countries are often borrowed in U.S. dollars. Uh, President Trump has picked some key staffers that are critics of the IMF. Some of them are at the Treasury Department, just down the road here. Um, is Steven Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, one of those critics? You have met with him. I understand you're going to do a, a dual interview with him soon. Is he a critic of the IMF? I think he, he's a demanding uh, member of the institution. And, uh, and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to uh, his challenge, his expectations, mm -hmm. is sort of raising the bar because that's the way in which we adjust, we progress, we demonstrate agility and, and, and a purpose. But he is very keen, as I understand, uh, that the economy be stable, that the financial uh, uh, world be uh, under a good degree of supervision, and that, for instance, there is no money laundering around, there is no financing of terrorism around, which is something that we absolutely are dedicated to and provide massive technical assistance around the world. Categorize how you feel about the U.S. economy right now. Oh, a beat. Well, that's certainly uh, positive, right? Now, of course, the IMF doesn't just focus on the U.S. They focus on the globe. And I specifically ask in part two, which is Monday, would the IMF go into Syria to help rebuild it? Wait till you hear what she says. For even more of my interview Monday with Christine Lagarde, managing director of the IMF, we're also talking about President Trump, Brexit, Frexit. France's elections are just less than two weeks away. She's concerned about what may happen there. Stay tuned.